If you guys love playing daily fantasy sports, make sure to use code Bengal at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. What's going on, guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today back on NCAA Football 14 for the Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty. Thankfully, I just caught myself. I started, you know, with another live commentary error, and I had the wrong mic equipped, but I caught it, like, a minute in. So, we're golden, we're restarting, you guys didn't need to know any of that. But, you did need to know, because I did some coach skill trees changes. So, I have now Tier 2 on recruiting. I have Tier 2 on Power Rush, or Bull Rush, whatever that one is. And then I have unlocked the Uptempo Tier 1 which is a 10% stamina boost. This is plus two to power and finesse move. And this is, I didn't actually, I don't know what it is. Increased scouting efficiency allows you to uncover around 50% of a prospect true skills each week for 50 points. Sounds pretty good. I did get a comment that I wanted to address as I do sometimes at the start of these videos from Black Fusion 161 says first win for the outlaws, of course, on last episode. If you guys didn't see that, we did win our first game in program history against the FCS East Howlers. It says, first win for the Outlaws. I see a winning streak about to start. Well, Black Fusion 161, I am very sorry indeed to inform you that next up on the schedule is number two, Oklahoma. So I'm not sure about that winning streak necessarily. <laughs> We're certainly going to try. Also, people in the comments are making fun of me for barely beating the Howlers. This is Heisman difficulty all around with 45 for all of the user stats and it's 60 for all the cpu stats. it's not easy man i'm trying let me get a better team and we're going to be able to dominate perhaps these games are always going to be close which i think is going to be cool but yeah oklahoma uh, that's going to be an interesting matchup we're home which is i guess an advantage there that's one advantage we will check out recruiting though now we have that new trait where we can uh Fully scout players, which I think is cool. Shelton Neal. Should we go into your scouting? Fully scout you up to a 70 overall. 73 strength, 77 block sheds, not bad. 77 power, but that's not terrible, if we're being honest. We probably should put some points into him. Just like a few. Because we don't have any. We're off we'll offer him a scholarship. 70 overall is like one of the best players on our entire team now. So that might be the move. Ryan Harris. Defensive tackle. Let's scout you. Oh, he's looking better. Finesse move at 76 with B block shed. I don't mind that at all. Let's go ahead and offer him a scholarship. And put some points into him. I don't want the UCF Knights to do anything about that. No, thank you. Derek Higgins, a cornerback. We're falling behind on him because we didn't put anything in here. But if he's good, I might be... Oh, can I not scout him? I don't have 50 points. Hold up. Hold up. Where are we in the lead here, majorly? On... Do I really want to back out on Shelton Neal? Let's just take away some points here. I want 50 points available. So there we go. 350. We'll be able to scout Derek Higgins, see if we want to dump some points into him. Let's go ahead and scout. 91 speed, 81 zone. 80 play rec. Ooh, he looks really good. This would be the fastest player on our team, along with Chris Outlaw. I feel like I have to dump some points into him. Let's take away some points on Ryan Harris. We do want him. But, like, I also really want Derek Higgins now. Let's make some points happen. Jonathan Newman verbally, I suppose, commit to West Virginia. We're pretty much out of the running on him, I guess. Yeah, he, we got they got the check mark. We're, we're donezo on Jonathan Newman. Nick Olsen we can take some points away from. It's going to be very close with the Golden Gophers for Greg Falks. That's what I'm going to call him, Falks. Very easy. We're going to take away a ton of points on Quentin Carter. Not a lot of teams are pursuing him very heavily, but he looks pretty good. Antonio Madison, kind of the same deal. We can take away a lot of points here because we have a huge lead. And Doug Denman, like, doesn't look particularly good. We don't have him scouted all the way. But I think that's where we're going to stop. Let's go back to all positions. Go up to the top. Who, who are we looking at? Was it? Yeah, it was Derek Higgins. Let's go ahead and just go all in on him. Get back in the race there. I'm down for that. All right, cool. All right, the Oklahoma Sooners. Can't wait. They're they're a little bit better. But we have more heart. That's not a rating on the screen, but the Outlaws have heart. 
we're also going to change the offense and defensive playbooks. I might want to do that in a different scenario, different section, so it saves. You guys were requesting a bunch of different things in the comment section. There were like no uh, tweets that match, or comments that matched. You can't tweet me. Link in the description. All right, let's go ahead and edit Bengus Khan here. And we are going to change the offense and defensive playbook. We're going to go... What do we want to run with? Let's go... Let's go pistol. Let's go spread option, actually, on offense. Why not? And then defense, we are going to run multiple. Multiple D. Because the outlaws have multiple Ds on the team. It makes sense. In case you guys were curious, this is currently the top 25. Ozark State, not that close yet. There is time. There is time. Alabama, down to 20. They're 2-2. Two and two. Good lord. Oklahoma at number 2. Is going to be a tough one. And I really doubt that Goddard can win the Heisman. We also have to make another change to the roster. Colt Nash is going to wear 45 now to match his nickname of Colt 45. How sick is that? Because it's like a gun and we're the outlaws. And it's also a malt liquor. And Colt Nash plays drunk a lot. That's just kind of his deal. Which is cool. He's a freshman. He'll, he'll learn. Or maybe that's just his thing. If he plays well, come to the game blitzed and blackout for blitzes so we can black out i don't there's no joke there well maybe there is i didn't say it well also we're gonna change uh, brian mullen's number to 96 so that lightning mcqueen can wear number 95 like he did in the movie shout out to rory lightning mcqueen ka -chow. mr longest pick six in ncaa history lightning mcqueen we should almost just change his first name to lightning let me know if you guys would want to see that. Also, not everyone was feeling Antoine Watts at number 12, since we do have a starting quarterback wearing number 12. So Antoine Watts, the safety, is now going to wear number 3, just to keep you guys updated. All right, time to bring the pain. The Sooners aren't going to see what hit them. All right, Oklahoma, that's how they're looking offensively. Do we have the number 2 pass rush or pass offense in the nation? Shout out to Pedro Goddard. Vote for Pedro. Looking like Uncle Rico a little bit last week. How y'all doing? Back? For another episode of the Ozark State Outlaws, live from Dual Field, aka the Saloon, versus number two Oklahoma, as we try to knock off the Sooners and pull off the upset of the century. We will start off kicking. That's Joe Mixon back to return. He's a hard hitter, as you guys may very well know. And we face Baker Mayfield of the Sooners. Of course, we are using uh, old rosters for a reason. We want to progress as if this was a couple years ago. So we were using 2016 and not 2018. I just, I felt like it'd be more fun for the series that way. As we try to dive after Mayfield, Lewis is wide open. He'll throw off a cornerback. Keep going. We're going to have to cover Geno Lewis today. That's going to be a priority as Oklahoma moves into the hurry up. Some number changes out here. That's all right. That's all right. Can't cover everything. I don't know what you're doing. Mark Andrews is wide open. Because Antoine Watts doesn't know how to, you know, intercept the ball. You had it, Antoine. He lobbed it right to you. It was a gift. Again, it's not great for me. But I am trying. That's over the middle. Huge hit from Blankenship. Did he catch that? Are you kidding me? All right, second and goal. It's a run. Anderson. Honestly, he looked like he got tripped up on the O-line when it was down. I'm not complaining, though. If we can somehow manage to stop the Sooners offense here near the goal line i think that'd be incredible we're gonna use our antoine watts and try to do the best that we can and uh lewis is wide open wide open all right let's try out the new offense today we're gonna hand it up the middle it's darren maxwell gained of 10 man this oklahoma team sucks we're taking it that was not a great third and seven play call I didn't realize it was third and seven. 
I don't know how I didn't realize, but I didn't. Is pretty much how that worked. Unfortunately. But it's a decent punt, actually. Not great. But not terrible. It's a run. Mayfield taking it. We gotta hit him. We gotta get that ball loose. Mayfield gonna take off. And Colt 45 is there to wrap him up. He picks up three. How? Oh, that's a nice play. Who sacked him there? Was that Lightning McQueen? Lightning McQueen is balling out every week, dude. He is the real deal. Uh, can I get a ka -chow in the comments? Oh, it's a screen? I don't know if anyone on the entire team recognized that. And wow! Rodney Anderson all the way to the end zone. As Baker Mayfield continues his perfect day. 8 for 8, 85 yards, and now a touchdown. There's Goddard on the option. We're trying to cut it up. We're not doing great, but it's not bad. I feel like with, you know, Goddard's just good through the air, despite not having amazing stats for that. Fourth and one from the 44 against Oklahoma. We're going for it. Are you kidding me? We are going for it. And we are getting creative. Throwing on the run. Goddard finds the ground. Gain of zero. Mayfield gonna take off immediately. Throws Arf. Arf. Bark, bark. Baker Mayfield running through the park. I have to say, threw off Mark Fenner. It's unfortunate. We're gonna start sending out a spy on like every play. I think this is gonna help us stop Oklahoma. I feel like they could beat us in so many different ways, and they're choosing just to run with Mayfield. And he's gonna fall down. Let's go, baby. Huge loss. Who even gets the credit for that sack there? I have no idea. Just give me a run. This is going right up the gut to Mixon. But I don't know. They haven't run the ball a whole lot. They're going to continue not to. Make Mayfield going to take off. And who but Montrell Gardner. Easily the slowest player on the field at any given moment. But Baker Mayfield tries to take off for the umpteenth time. And... Montrell Gardner is not having any of it. Second and goal. It's a triple option. Gardner stands him up. This time, Austin Kendall got the handoff. And Montrell played with a chip on his shoulder. Pitch it. Montrell! He brings him down short of the line to game. Short of the goal line. Montrell Gardner is having a game, let me tell you. And the Sooners are going for it. A Sooner meets an outlaw with a gun. What happens? Okay. Well, I really expected, like, the Sooner to get shot. You know what always works, though, is Wildcat. We just gotta get wild. Darren Maxwell is the one receiving the snap. And we are passing the ball. Maxwell, run! Darren Maxwell! Scrambles for 11 yards. All right, I'm not really sure what this is, but we're trying it. Back to Maxwell. Oh my God. Darren Maxwell has room. Maxwell down the sideline. He picks up a 26 yard catch on the reverse screen. There's a good slant. It's to the true freshman Roland Francisco. He took a shot, let me tell you. Probably took a few. The night before the game, but he's, you know, playing hungover. It's all good. He's catching the ball. Something new for him, honestly. He struggles with drops from time to time. All right, 0 for 2 on third down. Not exactly where we want it to be, but Goddard is open. They don't cover him. We're going to slide this time. I usually don't like to slide because that's weak shit. We're going to slide this time. Oh, that's wide open for Rodriguez. It's underthrown very badly. Third and 15. Whatever happens. Goddard gonna scramble. Oh, that was almost a really nice cut. Fourth and five. We're down 21. What do we do here? We're gonna go for it. A field goal doesn't do as much, but maybe, you know, get points in this game. Which I think we will do. But I want to throw to Rodriguez. Jake Rodriguez, first down and more. 18 yards on fourth down. What a big pickup from the tight end. This will work to perfection. Play action, boot, the rollout, 
Don't really like anything. Goddard! Oh my goodness, that's a sack! I wanted to dive to the end zone there, but he absolutely would have thrown the ball across the field and got me intercepted, and I would have been mad. I, I've done it before. Here we go. Hand off to Maxwell! And Darren Maxwell into the end zone. And we are on the board. That's a great way to end the half. We're in this. We're going to receive. We're going to score when we get the ball back. We're going for two, I guess. This is not a good idea. There's no even real reason to do this. But we're going to do it anyway. I just hope he wins. Karan Kirkpatrick. He catches a two-point conversion. Oklahoma is trash. All right, Oklahoma is going to have a deep shot here. Not if Montrell Gardner has anything to say about it. Get after the QB. Montrell Gardner, unbelievable. He sacked him. Oh my goodness, Montrell Gardner has two sacks this game. That is unbelievable. That's a medical concern any other time but here. Unreal for Montrell. And we get the ball to start the third. This is the game. Second and 20. Rolling out to the left. We got one. Oh, B was wide open. That's wide open. Lightning. Nope. Doesn't strike twice. Mark Andrews gets the ball. Jumps out of bounds. And Oklahoma continues this hurry up nonsense. Mayfield sacks. There we go. That's what we needed to turn this around. Trey Washington. Are you? No way. No way. Just tackle him. Jarvis Baxter with the touchdown. Baker Mayfield has zero incompletions in case you guys were keeping track. Look at this. Decent enough coverage. Good drop, dude. Good, good missed tackle. Good drop. I don't know. I'm just preparing for Roland Washington or Roland, whatever his name is, to drop one. Roland Francisco. All right, third and 23 after another sack. We're just going to lob it up to Karan Kirkpatrick, and that is almost intercepted by Jordan Thomas. You know, I don't really know what to say other than, like, getting sacked a lot sucks. I really am not a fan. Another screen. Meade is open after the punt. And he has a touchdown. Okay, wow. I was uh I didn't waste much time on that one, huh? One play, one touchdown. I hate how they count like getting sacked as a rush. It's my least favorite thing. I always hated that. We're gonna roll out again. Go Goddard! There we go. Just duck out of bounds. 16 yards again. Pedro Goddard is keeping us alive. Not really. It's like breathing through a straw underwater. But we are not dead yet. That's just... You hate to see that being underthrown as much as it was. It's picked up by Ahmad Thomas. And he is going to uh, bring that one to wherever he brought it to. We have 46 yards passing. Maybe should have rolled out and thrown it away. I don't, I don't know what my options there were. None of them good. Gardner! Hits Mayfield. Baker gonna have to wrap up. I don't do well in one-on-one -on -one situations. Uh, that's or even any situation tackling. It's not really my uh, my ball game there. I do best when. No, there's no there's no situation actually. I thought there might have been one. Nah, there's not. Mayfield wants to run. We got him. Nope. Antoine Watts misses the tackle. Well, you hate to see that. Oh, it's a read option. Lightning McQueen shuts it down. He had assistance from the guy he stole his number from, Brian Mullins. Great effort by the boys. What is happening? I think he just turned into an 80-year-old woman who's been smoking for 60 years. It doesn't matter. Did he not step out there? He stepped out. He stepped out. Go for it. I honestly want them to because we can shut this down. Again. It's all about heart. You say, hey, look, they have, like, no yards to go. They're they're basically over the line. That's fair, but it doesn't matter. We shut it down. We have heart and also a gun. And if you try to score again, we will shoot you. 
It is the Outlaws. We're gunslinging. And now let's dual wield with the dual threat. Pedro Goddard. That was just the worst. Uh, miscommunication on that one, you could say. And I will say, already I've made up my mind. It was fun to try out a new playbook for a game. And we might not go back to Texas, but we're not going to rock this one. It's just two built around a run first team. And I really think this is a pass first team. So I don't think it fits the personnel. So we are going to change it. Uh, That was just... That's another unfortunate thing to safety. We were backed up really far in our own end zone. Obviously, you guys knew that. And um, the offense wasn't where it needed to be. Bottom line. Second and five. It's actually a read option. Oh, boy. Big hit on Mayfield, but I doubt he cares. It's a run. Oh, uh, we're not there. Tackle him with Blankenship. Is this game over yet, man? <laughs> we haven't been able to stop them really at all. Baker Mayfield has not had a pass hit the ground. It's been unfortunate. Please don't even... I'm trying the best that I can, man. It's just not fast enough. Jeffrey Mead has seven catches, 80 yards, and a touchdown. Baker Mayfield, 22 of 22, 252. And honestly, it's not for lack of effort from this Ozark team as he rushes just right into the end zone. Just, again, unfortunate. What can you say about that? So, honestly, I don't think we've been that bad defensively. Like, we've stepped up. We've made some big plays. The big problem seems to be that uh, we don't have any real coverage. I think that's really what it comes down to. And uh, offensively with the new playbook, I am struggling heavily to move the ball. It's no lie. No lie. We're going to throw that ball. Oh, we snuck it in. Darren Maxwell picks up the first. All right, we're going to... I really wish they weren't pressed up. We're going to go ahead and try this. It was supposed to be a double screen, but we're going to take it with Roland Francisco. We saw some space. Why not? And Darren Maxwell drops the ball on third and six. We wouldn't have gotten the first down anyway. It was just, you know, trying to come close. It's four down territory anyway. Thought we might as well. But we are back here trying to convert another fourth down. Come on. There we go. We got space. Pedro Goddard. But there's a flag. Oh, my God. The clipping is on Karan Kirkpatrick. It will go for 15 yards. Making it 4th and 12. I said 15. What, why is it 4th and 12? Was it 15 yards from where we picked it up? From the spot of the foul? Probably. All right. I don't even know how we get this one now. It's going to be It's going to be a rollout. Hope Maxwell kind of sets up a block for us. Here's the rollout. Oh, shit. That was not great. You imagine throwing short of the, the line to gain there on fourth down? Oh, wait. It's not a close game. I forgot. What happened there? Not sure how we didn't tackle him. But, uh, goodness. Talk about putting the cherry on top of the sundae. I think that one is going to end the game. As you know what, we played hard. But we just suck. Alright. Let's just let's just tackle him. Ugh. Well, you hate to see that. We will not be running the, with this playbook again. I honestly I don't think the Texas offense is that bad. I kinda like what it what it does for us. I thought we were playing pretty well with it. But uh, this one, it just wasn't for me. So, I, I think it is pretty bad when... And I, I granted, it is on only one attempt. But when your halfback, your second string halfback, has, I would say, pretty much a significantly better game than your starting QB. Way better rating, obviously. Better percentage of completions, no interceptions. Not even, like, that less uh, amount of yards, only 70 off. This was just not it, Chief, as they say.
So, I don't like the playbook. Pedro Goddard was not great on the ground. Darren Maxwell was. We ran a bunch of trick plays, but it's hard to want to run the ball when you're down by so much when you're trying to get back into it. Obviously, there were no real standout receivers. Darren Maxwell had his best game. That's what you can take away from this. Offensive line held up pretty well, but Montreal Gardner, if you're going to give the game ball to anybody, good Lord, did the senior out of Redstone Arsenal, Alabama, have one hell of a game. Jarvis Blankenship out of Emory, Mississippi, uh, was average per usual. A sack for Lightning McQueen. Obviously, no interceptions. Baker Mayfield was perfect. He did not have an incomplete pass. So, it was tough. But that is going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.